So here we're looking for the VTH of a plane. Now what the VTH is, it's the traces of a plane. So if I just look at my SOLIDWORKS video here, I might have an oblique plane here in blue. My yellow plane here is my plane ABC. My yellow plane lies on an oblique plane, the oblique plane I've put in blue. Hopefully you can visualize that that oblique plane will go on for infinity. However, I've just drawn it just to maximize my SOLIDWORKS video. Now, my oblique plane, which is the blue plane, cuts my vertical plane, which gives me my vertical trace, and it cuts my horizontal plane, which gives me my horizontal trace, and that's what I'm looking for in this question. So as you can see here, I have my plane A, B, C, A, B, C. Now how I solve my question is, I take one of the lines, it doesn't matter, A, B in my elevation, and I'm going to extend it. You don't have to start in your elevation, you could start in your plan, but I always try to start in my elevation. Where that line hits the X, Y line, I'm going to drop a vertical line, I'm now going to extend AB in my plan and that's giving me a point there. That is a point on my horizontal trace. I'm now going to extend another line and the next line I'm going to extend is CB and where that hits my XY line, we're going to come down. I'm then going to extend BC and now what's happening is, this is a coincidence, this is, okay, in this question. They're all actually meeting at this point right here. That point has to be a point in my horizontal trace. This point has to be a point in my horizontal trace. So that's my horizontal trace. It is very rare that that construction would actually lie on your XY line, okay? If it didn't lie on your XY line, you'd obviously extend on this line until it hit your XY line. So that's my horizontal trace. Now I need to get my vertical trace. I know for a fact that that point is going to be on my vertical trace. So I'm just going to pick a point and the point I'm going to pick is A. So from point A, I'm going to draw a line parallel to my horizontal trace from point A. Now point A was a bad choice because see the way it's going to go off. So we're just going to change that to point C. So point C, I'm going to draw a line and this line is parallel to my horizontal trace. That's parallel. Where that line hits my XY line, I'm going to draw a vertical line. And from point C in my elevation, I'm now going to draw a horizontal line. So you will hear the expression parallel up and over. So parallel up and over. If you were trying to find that in your plan, you would go parallel down and over. Now I know that this is a point on my vertical trace, this is a point on my horizontal trace, so I'm going to connect from here to here and that's giving me my vertical and my horizontal traces.